Welcome back you guys. Today I am filming a makeup video. It's been a really long time since I have filmed one so I'm really excited. Today I am going to be showing you guys everything that I brought with me to Europe. I've been in Europe for four months now and I knew I was going to be here for over a month so I did pack Quite a few different things. I am going to have everything linked down below. Remember that I am in Europe therefore I can't access Ulta or Target's website but a lot of the stuff you can get in Ulta or Target so definitely look there especially Target because Target Circle has a lot of really good deals on makeup all the time. And then before we get into the actual products I wanted to tell you guys about my makeup bags. So the first one is this little cinch bag. It is from Kristen Made. I ordered some hair scarves. I got this for free. It's really nice because it's just a canvas bag so I just throw it in the washer whenever it's dirty and it comes out perfect. The next one is actually this bag and I believe it's like another one of those cinch bags. I believe it came with an Amazon order like a hairbrush or something and this one it's kind of weird. I keep all my cylindrical products in this so everything that is kind of like circular in shape goes in this bag and then all the other things go in this bag. This one is just one that I usually keep in my purse. It has all my lip products in it and I got it in Turkey. So I'm going to try to go in order of how I use everything. So this first product I use multiple ways, but the first way that I use it is underneath my foundation is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. This is amazing. It makes your makeup look so glowy and so nice. I also like to use it as a highlighter and I just think it's one of those products that you can use so many ways. I even use this as a foundation sometimes. So it is really expensive but I highly recommend it. The next product that I use is foundation and I brought two for this trip. One liquid and one powder. So my favorite one is the liquid one. This is the Shiseido Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Foundation. This is amazing. It always looks so so good. It looks very natural and it has a very glowy dewy effect but I have really dry skin and I find that this doesn't cling to my dry patches which is really really nice. So I highly recommend this. It is expensive but in my opinion it is one of the prettiest natural foundations on the market. Next is my powder foundation and of course the Bare Minerals Original is the powder foundation that I use. This stuff is amazing. It has SPF 30 I believe and it's also made with only five ingredients which is really cool. I think this is great. Uh, sometimes it doesn't work well with like my skin that day. Sometimes it's a bit finicky which is why I'm glad that I have the other one that always looks good every day but for the most part this one looks pretty good usually whenever I use it. Just make sure that you don't have any like really bad dry patches and also that you are using very small amounts at a time and then this will look great for you. For concealer I brought two of the same. These are the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serums. These are amazing. Like I said I have dry skin so for me it's really important to find products that don't cling to any dry spots that I have and these are amazing. I did grab two shades and I ended up using the tanner one a lot more but the light one is really nice under the eyes. I do find that this concealer is one that like less is more you want to use as least amount of product as possible and then like very slowly add more because it does tend to look a bit cakey or splotchy if you use too much at first i think cheek products are the like makeup item that i brought the most of so next i'm going to go through the cream ones that i brought the first cream bronzer is the milk makeup matte bronzer stick in the shade baked this stuff is amazing it's literally one ounce of product it is huge it lasts for Forever. I also really like that it's not too dark. It always looks really really nice and it blends really nicely. The next cream bronzer is one that I bought because of TikTok. It is the Makeup Revolution Eye Bright Illuminating Concealer in the shade Deep Caramel and this stuff is amazing. It's kind of like the Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand. It has like that same sponge tip applicator and I'm telling you guys this stuff is amazing. This shade is perfect because it's a bit of a cooler tone so it's kind of like a contour and I just think that this looks so flattering on so I'm a really big fan of this. For blush, I do have the Wet n Wild Makeup Stick in the shade Peach Bums. This one is kind of similar to the Charlotte Tilbury Pinkgasm like blush wand that's like the contour wand and this stuff is amazing. It has this really pretty iridescent like sheen to it. It's like a really pretty pink color and you can really build it up. It also blends out easily and it's super duper affordable. I think it's like $3 for this so it's amazing. I also brought the e.l.f. Putty Blush in the shade Caribbean and I feel like this one is kind of a controversial product because a lot of people say it's really hard to blend out. I find that it works out 
out pretty well and I like the way that it looks, especially this Caribbean color. I just think it's like a really pretty, very deep color and I think it looks really flattering on my skin. Uh, but I do think that this could be kind of difficult to work with depending on if you're using your fingers or a brush or like a beauty blender. So I don't know, definitely one that I think it's worth trying. Next is face powders. My favorite one from the drugstore, like absolute favorite, is the e.l.f. Halo Glow setting powder. I have this one in the shade light pink. This is absolutely amazing. It is super affordable. I think it's like $7 or something. Lasts forever. I've been using this basically every day for four months and it's still not empty, but this is the perfect like iridescent sheen setting powder. It just looks beautiful. It doesn't make your makeup look cakey or really dry. It is definitely not mattifying, but it does help keep your makeup in place while still looking glowy. And I think that that is really nice. I feel like you don't have to do this, but I always use the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil whenever I use the Bare Minerals Original Foundation. I love this powder. I can't explain the texture quite right, but it is so fine and airy. And when it like glides onto your skin, it feels like silk. I don't know how to explain it, but I absolutely love this powder. And I've actually never tried it with any other foundation. So I feel like I'm going to do that because like I said, this just feels amazing. And I'm curious to see how it works with other foundations. The last powder is of course the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Setting Powder. And this stuff is amazing. I've used almost all of it. This looks so good underneath your eyes as well as all over your face. This is very expensive and I do think that there are powders out there that work just as well like the e.l.f. one. And also there is a dupe from number 7 but I have the number 7 dupe and I have the Charlotte Tilbury and just the number seven one doesn't compare in my opinion, so I will always repurchase this one and I think it is well worth the money. For powdered bronzers, I of course have Benefit Hula. This is just the regular shade. I do have the mini version and I'm really glad that I do because this product is pigmented, a little goes a long way, and I feel like this also just lasts a really long time. I've had this for like a year before I went on this trip and I used it very, very frequently and I still haven't even hit the pan at the bottom. Another Charlotte Tilbury product, probably one of my favorite makeup brands. This is the Filmstar Bronze and Glow and it is just the most beautiful color. So this one's the bronzer. It is the perfect like cooler toned but still warm. Like it's a bronzer but it's not super like warm so it does it's not gonna make you orange is what I'm trying to say. It's not going to make you orange but it's not going to make you look like you have mud on your face either which I think is important. And then we have the highlight shade. I don't know what the highlight shade is but this is such a pretty natural glowy looking highlight. It's what I wear every single day. I did have the Becca highlighter in the shade Opal but it broke so I ended up throwing it out and this is the one that I have been using every single day and I love it. I do also like to layer this one on top of the Hollywood Flawless Filter. I just feel like them together makes the highlight really really pop and I just think it looks really good. The last powdered cheek product is the Tarte Party Blush. This is just a mini version. I got it in my birch box and here's what it looks like. It is the prettiest pink. It's what I'm wearing on my cheeks today. I just think it looks really flattering. It is one of those ones that has really good color payoff but it's not too pigmented to wear like you stick your brush in and you put it on your face and you look like a clown. You can kind of build this up um, and I just think it looks really nice. There's also a ton of different colors and I find that it lasts all day. Now on to eye products. I'm just going to grab from the bag because I just feel like it's not worth it to go through each little thing individually. I use them all about the same time so it doesn't really matter. First is this CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume Mascara. This is in the shade brown. I really like this mascara but I think I have a new favorite mascara so I would recommend this however I do think that there are better options out there. I like to use a brown mascara just because it looks a little more natural. Next is what I think is taking my favorite mascara spot. This is the Wander Beauty Mile High Club Volume and Length Mascara. This I actually got a full size version in my birch box and I absolutely love it. I don't know if it's a tubing mascara. I think it might be, but this makes your lashes look so long and full and I just, I love them. It 
like this is amazing this is like one of the best mascaras i've ever used i am so sad that it is so expensive next is the revlon color stay eyeliner this is in the shade brown and i like to use this one in like my tight line and in my waterline i also will use it as a winged liner and then kind of smoke it out with this little smudgy thing on the end so this one is just kind of one that i use in a lot of different ways i can also use this as an eyeshadow because i didn't bring an eyeshadow so i just use like my bronzer or my blush or this little eyeliner for that this is my favorite drugstore eyeliner actually i think it's my favorite eyeliner just in general is the physician's formula eye booster eyeliner this is in the shade brown uh this is like absolutely amazing it goes on really really smoothly it stays all day and i just think it has such a beautiful color it's really easy to apply i always get this at ulta and this is probably the only eyeliner that i will continue to repurchase because it's so good next is the nyx lift and snatch brow tint pen this is in the shade ash brown and it matches my eyebrows perfectly the last eye product is the nyx the brow glue i kind of have mixed feelings about this i don't know that it's like my absolute favorite but i have used most of it and i don't really have many complaints about it i do think it kind of gets flaky and sometimes it doesn't hold the brows as well as i would like we are almost done we are now to the lip products so the two that i have out of the bag this one is the revlon kiss lip balm i got it in my like stocking for Christmas last year and I like it. I just think it's one of those that looks really cute on your lips if you have no makeup on. Just gives it that nice like pinky red color and I don't know. It's cute and I like it so I brought it. This is MAC Cream in Your Coffee and this is definitely my favorite MAC lipstick. I just think it looks so pretty. It's kind of like a your lips but better color so I highly recommend checking this out if you haven't tried it. The lip combo that I'm wearing today and that I wear just about every day is the e.l.f. Sheer Slick in Black Cherry and then I just like lightly dab this on my lips and then use my fingers to like kind of smudge it out because this can be be pretty intense if you just apply it like you would normally a lipstick so I like to just like blot it on and then it just gives you like a light wash of color and then I top it with the essence shine 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 lip gloss I think this is a really nice lip gloss it's super cheap and it just like looks really good I also find that it lasts a pretty long time for lip gloss I love red lipstick and this one from Sephora is probably my favorite it is the Sephora cream lip stain in the shade always red it's just like the perfect blue tone toned red it makes your teeth look really white and it just looks so so cute I do like to wear this like gliding it on my lips like you would normally I also like to blot it on my lips and kind of do like a diffused red lip and put some lip gloss over it and then I find that it looks really cute this has to be one of my favorite lip glosses ever this is the Revlon super lustrous the gloss in the shade fatal apple it is a really pretty red color and this lip gloss is just really nice. It feels really nice on the lips and the color is perfect. It just gives your lips a little red sheen to them and I think it's really nice. I actually also found this product on TikTok. This is the only lip liner that I brought. This is the Essence Stay 8 Hour Lip Liner in the shade Because Duh. This is such a perfect lip liner shade for me because it matches my lips almost exactly. I like to use this when I overline. I think this is really nice. It's like $2. Sometimes you can find it on sale at Old which is what I did and I think it was only like a dollar. We are almost done. We have the Clarins Comfort Lip Oil. This is in the shade Candy, but when I like looked online, I couldn't find the shade Candy, so I put the shade that was closest to it. This stuff smells so good. Also, it has that huge applicator like the Dior Lip Glow that everyone has been buying. I got this at Ulta when it was on sale. I think I got it for like $8 or something and it's originally like $26. This stuff is amazing. It is a lip oil, so it does make your lips look really nice nice but it's not super sticky and also it is really moisturizing wow 23 minutes later we are on the final product and it is the Burt's Bees tinted lip balm in the shade red Dahlia if you can't tell I really like the reds and berries I just like they look really nice on my lips and this one is no exception this is so so pretty I love that it is a lip balm so it is moisturizing I always have this in my purse and I put it on all the time I just think it's a really nice color looks really natural and yeah highly recommend so that is all of the makeup that I have used for the past four months I will say that I am really missing eyeshadow so I will probably buy a little eyeshadow palette but really that's the only thing that I'm missing and also the only thing that I have ran out of is oh 
is this mascara. This mascara is like completely dried up, so I will be getting rid of that. But in four months, to have this be the only thing that I run out of is kind of impressive. I will be uploading a like everyday makeup routine so that you guys can see how I use these products. Maybe I'll do a few different versions since I have the two different foundations but yeah I do plan on doing like a makeup routine just since the lighting was so bad here it made more sense to do the makeup bag first and then film the makeup routine. I think that that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoy and I will see you on Wednesday. Bye! Mm -hmm.